so here I'm looking at the uh, I've got my solar heat blower running you can see it's taking 133 volt amps 115 watts right now and that's pulling 11 amps 11.1 amps on the inverter and right now the batteries are charging at uh, you can see right over here about 2.1 amps and I want to see what happens when the freezer turns on and there we go it's like the freezer started up we're now doing uh, uh, 26 amps into the inverter and that's 350 volt amps 280 watts and right now it looks like the batteries are being discharged just a little bit there's a few uh, high clouds blocking the solar panels and I see about 175 watts from uh, each of the three 270 watt panels and it looks like the charge controller is starting to ramp up a little bit you can take a look at it's that like it's putting out uh, at 14, 13 and a half, 14 volts at 23 amps and we're pulling 16.1 amps of DC load. I have quite a few LED lights on plus the blowers for the uh, solar heating system. That's the noise you hear. Uh, and the, now the freezer and the uh, main blower for the heater are running 277 watts and doing 25 amps of charging plus 16 amps of DC load so I'm over over 40 amps total output oh this is kind of a worst case condition but you got to build a system to handle handle the worst you can throw at it so it looks like it's working pretty good today 16 amps on the DC you got 24 amps of charging and now that's looks like the clouds rolled back in the, what happens is is the the charge controller supplies the DC load no matter what and then any any excess power goes into charging the batteries you can see now it's it's actually jumped up to 27 amps so basically any any excess power goes into the batteries uh, unless they're charged and since it was discharging for a while there it's now charging the batteries putting in a little extra current I'm getting about 1.6 amps going into the batteries 25 amps into the inverter and then 16 amps out to the loads so that's one of the advantages of an MPPT charge controller and you can see it's also uh, pulling the panels down there at what 23.7 volts right now so they're getting pulled down pretty hard uh, pretty low to uh, generate all that current and it looks looks like there's still a light cloud cover so that's dropping the voltage a little bit but anyway that's the system in action and uh, just wanted to share that with you guys uh, so anyway be sure to rate and share this video if you found it interesting and uh, subscribe to the channel for updates like this. Thanks for watching. We'll see you later.